Do you know five things that can destroy marriages? Let's find out today on Inspired Walk. There's no doubt that the divorce rate around the world continues to grow. You find a couple seemingly falls in love, gets married, and then before you know it, their marriage is ruined and they're filing for divorce. So today we want to look at five things that can ruin a marriage. Number one, finances. This is a big issue in the home. Maybe the husband isn't earning as much as his wife and so there's tension in the home. Or maybe there are d disagreements on how to budget and spend the money in the home. Or maybe both the husband and the wife are not earning enough money to meet the expenses in the home. And so couples are bound to fight and even divorce if measures are not taken to address the financial aspect of a marriage. And now the Bible teaches us that we should be good stewards of all that we earn and all that God gives us. And so that includes money. God expects us to spend our money wisely and righteously. Furthermore, we are not to worry about money, but rather we should trust God to supply all our needs and we are to have an attitude of contentment. And so in a marriage, a couple shouldn't focus on fighting each other over money, but the couple should collectively look towards being good stewards of what they have and what God has given them and they should collectively trust God that he will supply their every need in the family. The second thing that ruins marriages is unforgiveness. Unforgiveness, if not properly dealt with, it grows like a cancer and it festers bitterness and resentment and an underlying rage which may eventually destroy a marriage. So it's important that when a couple fights that they try to quickly and genuinely resolve an issue as soon as possible. The Bible says that we should not allow the sun to go down whilst we are still angry. In other words, try not to go to bed without amicably resolving a problem with your spouse. The third thing that destroys marriages is dishonesty and lack of transparency. You know, poor communication or lack of transparency or honesty will undoubtedly lead to a lack of trust within the relationship. And so the Bible encourages us to never hide the truth because that would be deception. But instead, we are to speak the truth in love. And then having an extra marital affair is the fourth thing that can destroy a marriage. Adultery is clearly wrong and it destroys the trust of a spouse. The Bible teaches us that if you marry someone, it should be for life and you remain faithful to your partner till death do you part. And so marriage is not just a contract, but marriage is a covenant. And number five, a marriage can be ruined because spouses do not understand or fulfill their God-given roles in the house. The Bible teaches that the husband is the head and his role is to love, provide, lead, nourish, and protect his wife and family just as Christ does the same for the church. And the wife is like the wife in Proverbs chapter 31. She is excellent. She is respectful to her husband. She is industrious and she manages the home. In conclusion, it's important to note that every marriage goes through testing and trials and every couple does fight from time to time. The important thing as a couple is to learn how to resolve problems together and how to put God 
at the center of your relationship. And so every couple needs to learn to work together, solve problems together, and put God at the center of the relationship. Amen.